Welcome once again to a discussion uh, on our way, on the journey. In the past few days, uh, let us hop back on what we discussed, what we uh, concentrated on, on the spirits of Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, and the Canaanites, especially. All these spirits are very subtle, creating fear, creating uh, jealous attachments and uh, creeping into our spiritual lives without our knowledge and creating uh, idols in our lives and creating confusion in our lives through complaints and memory. Today let's uh, look at another spirit as Exodus 23, 23, the Lord exhorts us and advises us to be conscious of and to be aware and mindful of is the spirit of Hivites. So the children of Israel are there on, are on their journey, on their way, the promised land, just as in the spiritual realm right now, the spiritual sense, we are the spiritual sons and daughters of the Old Testament through Christ Jesus. And we also are on a journey to perfection with our Christ. And in our journey, in our lives, as I mentioned, God will not supernaturally shift us from one place to the other without letting us face these challenges. This is what Paul in the New Testament talk, talked about. Running the race, running the good race, facing the tribulations and the trials. So these are the challenges of the spiritual realm that we face. This is what Paul also exhorted and expounded, saying, we have to have the armor of God in order to face these spirits. Faith, the word of the Lord. And the rest of the armors that Ephesians 6 11 talks about. So today let's harp a little bit on the, the spirit of Hevites. The, the meaning of Hevites, the characteristics of Hevites in the land as the Israelites face is that they are tent dwellers, they are tent dwellers and they conflict with the word and the kingdom of God in essence. In other words, they are mostly worldly, traveling in the world, living in the tents against a certain doctrine of the rule of the land, in other words, revolting against the rule of the land, in other words, revolting against the word of the law and the doctrine and the kingdom of the law. This is the characteristic of the Hivite spirit. So we can dwell a little bit deep into the Hivite spirit and how it operates. It's just like the Canaanites, the Amorites and the Perizzites, the Hittites, they are very subtle spirits, very, very sensitive spirits that creep into our lives without our knowledge. The Hivites, they always try to create conflict against a certain doctrine, against what the word of the Lord says. So we face that in our lives and in both Ephesians and James, we, we find uh, scriptures to uh, expound on this factor. Let's read Ephesians uh, chapter 2 verse 2 onwards in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. So in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2, talks about in which you, you once walked, or I once walked, according to the course of this world. That means according to the whims and the influence and the persuasions of the world, according to the Canaanite spirit of the world the carnalities that we clung to. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. So, now it ho I hope that it rings a bell for you right now. As I mentioned, the Hevite spirit is a camp dwelling spirit that revolves against the law of the land, revolves against the law of, the, of, of a God. And in other words, is the spirit of disobedience. Those who are engulfed with the Hittite spirit, the Hivite spirit, apologies, 
is, are the sons of disobedience, those who are disobedient to the word of the God, of our Lord. And how do we apply it in our lives? Are we disobedient to the word of our Lord? Yes, we are in many ways. I am in many ways. I can take an example of me. We often talk about the fundamental doctrine of our ministry is to die to ourselves, to our old man, to embrace the new man and to walk towards the, uh, the promise of our Lord, die to ourselves. When we say when we die to ourselves, can we have any remnant of our worldly attachments in our lives, idolizing us, cannibalizing us with the carnal spirit, Canaanite spirit? It's very difficult. We shouldn't. So according to the Prince of the Power of the Air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, the Hivite spirit, are a double life that we try to live. In most situations we like to live, we like to live a double life. Six days of the week we do the chores and we comply to the rules of the world. We do various things of the world, being attached to the Canaanite spirit, listening to the Amorite murmuring, being afraid of the Hittite, and allowing ourselves to be attacked by the parasites. And only on Sunday we put a holy face, a mask, and come and seek the word of the Lord. It's a double life. And we are disobedient to the word of God in that sense. The word of God says, you cannot live a double life, as Ephesians 2, 2 says. That's a spirit that works in the sons of disobedience. So let's take our masks off, and it's important to do it. And it's not easy to do it as well. So we do certain things and we try to justify it before the Lord, saying, okay, Lord, I did this because that I want. I, the circumstances are such, one, two, and three. But in the presence of the sight of the Lord, unless the Lord has revealed it to you, it's a double life. That's the Hivite spirit. Well, let's also read James chapter 4, verse 3 to 8. You ask and do not receive, because you ask amiss, that you may spend it on your pleasures. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealousy, but he gives more grace? Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. And as we read, therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, flee from, and, uh, and the devil will flee from you. Draw near to God, verse 8 and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, your sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded people. So it's you double-minded. The people, those who revolt against the word of the God, and those who try to compromise the six days of your pleasure-seeking lifestyle, Canaanite-spirited lifestyle of, uh, of the week, and come on Sunday and say, okay, seek propitiation and forgiveness, by taking communion and asking forgiveness from the Lord for the six days of wrongdoing. And you repeat it again from Monday. Double mindedness. The Hevite spirit. So whenever that we think of something which is not aligned with the word of the Lord, and the word and the spirit of the Lord reminds you and nudges you saying, okay, this is a double minded thought, not fully aligned with my word and my direction and my way 
which blasphemies the Holy Spirit, according to Exodus 23:20, we discuss. We need to be very conscious and cognizant of it, so that we shall not yield into that double-minded. The word of the Lord says, Jesus says, "Let your yes be a yes and a no a no. Don't revolt against anything." If you can do something, say yes. You can do it. And if you can't do something, just say no that you can't do it. And anything out of those two is from the evil one. So anything out of those two is a double-minded spirit working in certain in individual, a hevite spirit, a revolting spirit, trying to uh, play a game with the Lord. Cut a deal with the Lord, an agreement with the Lord. No, Lord does not like. It. I tried doing it. I tried many times. Lord, I'll do this, but in propitiation, in compensation of it, I will do this and that. And Lord, no. Lord abhors and Lord detests such things. So I'm just pouring out my heart of what I've been through, and hope that will help you as well to identify this the Hivite spirit. And the work of the Hivite spirit, how it works in our lives, and how we can create a defense on it based on the word of God. Let your yes be a yes, no a no. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for the word that you have imparted and the rema that you brought us out of the words. Thank you for that. We shall be able to now identify the Hivite spirit working in us. There are. Lot of situations, many situations, encounters, circumstances in our lives that we ourselves play a double game with the Lord, the Word of the Lord. And when we come to such junctions of decisions and indecisions, let Your Holy Spirit not just rebuke us, correct us, and that we shall align ourselves with Your direction on Your way. And with the angel of the Lord, that is the Holy Spirit and Lord Jesus. So let us not give in to this divine spirit. Let us be conscious of it. May you, may the Holy Spirit help us to identify, properly recognize, distinguish from darkness and light, and let us be conscious and as well as to overcome it through the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.